videos of mathematics today we're doing uh, an o-levels question from coordinate geometry this is a little bit unusual question it requires a little bit of insight with how coordinates are working and how to visually represent them in your brain so i would not go into an approach where we will have to do detailed workings because both of these parts were worth one mark only so i would want you guys to pause the video have a look at the question before i start the question so i'm hoping that you guys have seen the question by now so let's see this is the setup of the question uh we have the midpoint a b that is one comma two and the length of line a b is uh 10. So I'm assuming, and so this is a grid I, I've assumed. So one comma two would be over here. So if, if you look at this point, this point is representing the midpoint of my line. If the gradient of AB is zero, that means this line is going to be a horizontal line. Now imagine a horizontal line going through this point, but can that line go for infinity? No, the, line, the length of AB is 10. And if this point is the midpoint of that line, that means half of the line is going to lie on the right side of this, uh, this point and half of the line is going to lie on the left side. So that means if I want to make AB as 10, I have to go five units to the right. So I will go five units to the right and five units to the left. So now if I look at this, this whole length would be AB would be equal to 10 where AB is a horizontal line and for AB being a horizontal line and the midpoint of that line is 1 comma 2 and now you guys can identify that the endpoints of this line are representing A and B. So in this case A would be equal to minus 4 comma 2 and B would be equal to 6 comma 2. So the idea is very simple. If the line, uh, if the gradient of the line was 0, that means it was a horizontal line. 1 comma 2 was the midpoint. That meant half of the line is ahead of this point. Half of the line is behind this point. So M is 1 comma 2, 5 units to the front of this line and 5 units behind this line. So we were standing at 1. If I go 5 units ahead, I will be at 6 comma 2. And I was standing at 1. If I go 5 units behind, that would be negative 4 comma 2. So this is the solution to part 1. A and B would be these. Uh, of course, they did not mention which one was A, which one was B. So you can swap their values. Uh, you can write A as 6 comma 2 and B as minus 4 comma 2. The second portion is a little bit tricky, um, as uh, we will see. Uh, you guys can see they have now given the gradient is 3 by 4. So the midpoint is again still at 1 comma 2. So this is the midpoint. Now the gradient is 3 by 4. Uh, we have seen a formula for gradient when we were kids. That was the rise over run. So that means rise is uh, rise means how much you have to go vertically and run means how much you have to go horizontally. And uh, the gradient is positive. That means I'm going to go this way positive gradients would go this way. So I'm looking at, I'm assuming a line which is going to go this way, but it's going to go in a way that we will have to go three units to the right. So four units to the right, four units we're going to run and then rise five, uh, rise three units. So I'm starting at one. If I go four units to the right, I will come here on five, four units, I'm going to run four units and then I'm going to rise three units. So I'm standing at 2, if I rise 3 units, I will come over here. So this is rise of 3 units. So change in y is 3 and change in x is 4. So this would be one point. And this would be the direction of the line. And similarly, if we want to go back, we would do a similar thing. In the reverse, I would go 4 units to the back. So 4 run and rise, uh, so it would, we're going backwards, so we would go three units down, we're starting at two, we'd go at minus one. So this would be the next point. Now, we want to make sure that the length is 10. So you guys can see this is a Pythagoras theorem. This is four, this is three. If you apply Pythagoras theorem, you guys are going to find out that this length is going to become five units. And similarly, this length will similarly become five units as well. So we can see this length is now 10 units and the gradient of this line is 3 over 4. Now we can declare this point is, um, say this point is A. Uh, so I would write A as negative 1, negative 3 and negative 1. 
and B as 5 and we have gone, we were starting at 2, we went 3 up, so we'll be at 5. So these are the coordinates of A and B. Now, this is a tricky question. I would not rate this as an easy question, but then there were not a lot of marks associated with that. It was just a one mark question. It was trying to see if you guys can visualize lines in your brain and how they are working according to the gradients. So if you were unable to solve this, just know this tactic. It is not a usual question once again. Uh, so you might not encounter uh, such a question again in your past papers and hopefully not in your exams. But uh, even if you do, this is the technique how you are going to solve this. So if you have understood it, please try to share it with friends who might not have seen this solution. And if you have any confusions, any questions, you can leave a comment below in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.